Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussRPTI.com. As you guys can probably imagine, over at my gym work as a fitness instructor, I get asked by parents uh, from time to time questions such as, Russ, what's a good age to get my son and my daughter into uh, exercising regularly, coming to the gym, maybe even using weights? Um, there's a lot of confusion about this issue, and I was asked by Victoria over on our Facebook page the other day, so I figured, you know what, we'll do a video. Victoria, if you're watching this, I hope this helps you, Vicky, plus as anyone else. Uh, that's, that's in this issue because Vicky was saying that her son is dying to get in the gym with her. <laughs> she does our home workouts, so she doesn't know if she can let him do it or if he's too young or whatever. So um, if your kid's like my kid, anyone watching this, my son, my eldest is six, he wants to do Rocky. He saw Rocky on YouTube one time and he goes around the house doing push-ups and stuff and you know, so people are often unsure, you know, how young is too young or is all the myths you hear true. Um, now, if you've been watching our videos from the start, you'll have heard me mention a few times, as well as training adults, um, for the past seven years we've, we've worked with uh, the UK government over at my gym as part of a government initiative to combat childhood obesity, as well as the big main gym. If you go upstairs a little bit, we've got uh, a specialist smaller gym where all the equipment is scaled down uh, for, for kids between the ages of 8 and 14. If your kid is between 8 and 14, wants to go to the gym, wants to learn how to use weights, that's a good time to do it, I would say. You'll hear a lot of nonsense, which I'll get rid of in a, f in a few minutes' time. Um, but my rule for this is, if they're between 8 and 14, that's the best time to start getting into training. I know if I could go back in my life, that's what I'd do too, all right? That's, that's the best time. There's so much research now as well to support those claims, uh, whereas in the past there wasn't, which is why there were so many myths around. Um, one particular study, which was released just a couple of months ago, uh, this was done in Sweden over the last 28 years and they studied two groups of individuals, one group that were using weights from a young age, another group that weren't. And now that these kids are getting into their, their late 30s and early 40s, you're starting to see the differences. They've literally studied them their whole lives. Um, this, the reason there was so much theory and so much myths is because to get conclusive evidence, it would have to be a long-term study, right? So they had to literally wait and watch and monitor and during that time there's been so many theories that have come out. Um, that this has just finally got rid of. And what it's shown is that the group of people that was um, training with weights, which included men and women, or boys and girls at that time, um, their bone mineral density was greatly, greatly increased over the group that didn't train with weights. And now that they're getting into sort of late 30s, early 40s, you're starting to see that this group who trained with weights from a younger age and exercise regularly look after their bodies a bit better, they're at far less risk of serious illnesses such as you know osteoporosis and other conditions like that. Um, they've really lowered the risk of that by looking after themselves from a young age. And one of the benefits of that long-term study, I mean that's been reported in the national press over here in the UK recently, uh, is that it's got rid of a lot of the myths. You know, you may have heard myths such as girls shouldn't use weights because it'll get them big and bulky. I think we've already done enough on our channel to get rid of that myth for you. I mean, some of my best clients over in the gym are girls who've been using weights for the first time and got in the best shape of their lives. So, you know, don't buy that myth at all. Um, another myth, you shouldn't use weights before 21 or 22 when your bones have stopped growing. All right, um, again, another thing that we've disproven on our channel alone, um, as well as all the other things out there that have done that. And the third myth, the main one that we hear, which is in every single gym in the world, despite having no proof behind it, um, is that kids shouldn't use weights because it'll stun their growth. Particularly teenage boys are worried about this. Parents of teenage boys, because obviously they want to go to the gym and pump some iron, you know, uh, build muscles, and they're always worried. I get asked this all the time when the parents of, say, 11, 12, 13 year old boys bring them in for an induction over at the kids' gym at my place, and you can see the worry, and it's the parents that's worried, not the kids. They want to get in there, and they always get me to one side and say, Russ, I've heard, you know, if he does this, he's, he's going to stun his growth. Um, and obviously when you sit them down and you go through the facts, it puts them at ease. If we've got a video on our channel, all right? If you've been hearing that myth, um, watch this video and look in the description. There's a link to my fitness blog where we go a bit more in depth and we'll show you why it's good to get a bit of training at that age. Um, obviously there are risks, but people have totally overblown that over the years with no proof. Um, saying, oh, you know, if you touch weights, you'll stun your growth. It's the same as, you know, an adult. If you go to the gym and you don't learn what you're doing, you're going to injure yourself permanently, and a kid would have done the same thing. Um, if your kid wants to go to the gym, and they're, I would say between 8 and 14 is a good place to start. If you've got somewhere you can send them where the instructors are good, they're going to teach them the, 
the benefits of exercise, uh, teach them all the big moves, the so squats, deadlifts, bench press, how to do pull ups on the, big, on the bars. Um, those type of big moves, if you learn to do them right, which is the main thing, same as with an adult, uh, you've got to do the technique, it's everything. Um, get someone who can teach them how to do it right and there is no risk involved. And it's actually a very good thing to get them involved in it because when they hit their 30s and their 40s, as this recent studies found out, they're going to have so much more potential with their health. They're going to be in better shape, obviously, throughout their entire life. Much lower risk to uh, diseases like osteoporosis. Their bone mineral density, I know that will mean nothing to most people, but they, basically they're going to have stronger skeletal, stronger skeletal muscles, their bones, um, which puts them at much less risk to, to inner illnesses and breaking bones and stuff like that. So honestly, if your son or your daughter is getting into fitness, don't hold them back, all right? Don't be afraid to. As long as you've got somewhere good, somewhere professional, you can send them to learn the basics. You've got nothing to worry about, okay, Vicky, or anyone else uh, with this. Um, for those of you that want to do it at home, because I know being January, I want to do this video, a lot of people want to start losing weight at home. Maybe you don't want to go to the gym, you, don't want, you, you want to get your kid into it with you as well. I found that over at my gym, right, despite having all the, the you know, fancy equipment for them, they respond better to circuit style training, they enjoy it more, you know, you can get great benefits with weights, we always teach them that, but we find that when it comes to fun, they want a challenge, they always come up and sort of slam a bit of paper on the desk, Russ, write me an impossible workout, so you, know, you write them something silly like one million sit-ups followed by, and you get them doing a big circuit, um, and just tell them to keep going until they can't anymore, just basic stuff like push-ups and squats with no weights, stuff you can do at home, if you're wanting to do that, because I know a lot of people are following the videos on our channel, the weight loss circuit style high intensity zero equipment stuff that we do if you want to get your, your son or your daughter involved they will love that honestly they absolutely love that over our gym plus it'll probably help you a lot as well if that's what you're doing it'll keep you motivated keep you going and it'll become fun again you know what i mean uh, so a lot of people take out the fun in exercising after a while uh, so i encourage you to get them involved in that if you want to do it at home first anyway my video is done today i will now have to go get my Rocky you want to be uh, from school so <laughs> if you've got anything you'd like to know reach me on the Facebook page thanks a lot for uploading all your testimonials and stuff I really appreciate it I'm glad our videos help you you know you guys always thank me for doing the videos honestly I should be thanking you because some of the pictures I've seen the progress before and now pictures it's awesome that, that we've even had anything to do with helping you change your life for the better like that so keep doing it keep sending them all right and I'll Put some of them on our, on our blog, I like to change them up every month, so if you see yourself pop up on there, show your friends. <laughs> Alright, so I'm proud of them, it's great results, uh, just keep them coming. Alright, thanks a lot, hope it helped, bye bye.